we back with Inhib Raid, and yo, Momo still works! B-Side doesn't completely hate us, and luckily not much has changed other than stats. Boss hits a little harder, but other than that, we should be good to go. I have a couple of teams to showcase here, one with Momo and one without. So let's go ahead and check it out. Here we are with the Momo team. For the ship, you can run basically anything that gives you damage. You do not have to use chorus. For Momo, any side skill works, but A speed, crit damage, ground res, or AoE res all work well here. Ecclesia can actually be replaced by Jake. He will do a great job tanking. He won't provide as much damage that Ecclesia brings for the whole team but he'll actually weaken the boss's uh, damage that it can do. Anistra can be replaced by Mavka uh, if you're feeling brave enough and you actually have the gear to run ground res on all your supports. Not really much of a great replacement for Plaga. Doma's probably your best bet or Ganyun. Either one of those work. She provides a great buff and she gives skill haste. For a swan, you need, you, let's see, let's, let's count everything you need to replace a swan. You need um, a Detroit, two Deathbreakers, an Achifu, and probably Jesus, or in, you know, whichever religion you, uh, you practice. Seal, Seal, I don't want to say Agnes can replace Seal. Um, Maybe a full tank Agnes can replace Seal. She won't get shields. But all you need her to do is get a couple attacks off and then you'll be good to go. Roy could probably replace Rebecca just fine. He won't do as much damage as her. But Rebecca, you know, besides just kind of giving us an early death, death break, isn't really, you know, too big of a, a loss if you have to sit there and use anything else. The, let's see, and then Maria here. Maria can actually be replaced by Hilde uh, if you for some reason don't have her, but she's farmable, so you know, go pick her up if you haven't gotten her. We're going with our basic Molo start. Support first into Defender. Now, you may sit there and think, oh, why not go Lin Jian first? Well, because Lin Jian is dumb and she will run in front of Ecclesia and then get herself killed. So we want Lin Jian nice and safe so she can generate enough DP to sit there and deploy the rest of our team. Now with Ministra deploying, that's going to sit there and proc Momo, instantly killing that wall. And Ministra makes this run super comfy and super safe. Her attack down on the boss is pretty much all you need in order for your team to survive. There are... This, this team takes a lot of CDR gear. And not all, of, not all of your characters you're going to be able to have ground res on that would really, really want the ground res. So you can sit here and take the attack down and make them, so, you know, the gear requirements a little less here. Generally speaking, most of our units, are pretty much all of them except our DPS and SEAL are running CDR gear. Uh, Eve is going to be running just any type of damage gear that you can fit onto her. I personally went with attack speed here. And my seal is actually running tank gear. Now I do run tank gear on Soyun and normal Gia, but that's only because they their damage doesn't really matter that much and just in case anything would happen to go wrong, they stay alive. Well, at least Gia stays alive. Who cares after uh, we deploy Soyun, right? We just after that attack buff. And then of course we have Dorothy coming out at the end here to give us a nice little attack boost, crit damage boost. With all of our ultis going off to buff and debuff the boss. And then we can sit here and just explode the boss. Now all the damage to Saren adds up, but honestly Eve just kind of straight up carries this team. For this is sub team. 
the ship can be anything that just provides damage. Sysop's size skill can be anything but is preferred to be attack speed, crit damage, ground res, or AoE res. Ecclesia can be replaced by Jake. He doesn't bring as many buffs as Ecclesia does, so your damage will be lowered, but he does lower the boss's damage that it can do. Mavka can be replaced by ASY, and the same can be said for Ministra. Eve can be replaced by Jacko. And then Seal. Seal can be replaced by Agnes if you have her on full tank gear. And Rebecca can be replaced by Roy. Maria, if you don't happen to have her, can be replaced by Hilde. Since we have to start off with Sysop, we have to lead off with Linjian here. And because of that, for safety reasons, I deploy Chinatsu just to heal up the damage that she takes. Because she, for some reason, just has to run in front of Ecclesia. So, since we're not using Momo, we have to deal with this wall. We have Mavka, who's going to not only complete the hit check very easily, but since this wall is a defender, she's probably going to be our best bet for doing damage. A ASY can accomplish the same thing, but, you know, we use the best here. And, you know, it, it's going to, honestly, it's going to take a while to kill this wall because Mavka, Mavka is uh, actually full anti-defender and it's still taking a very long time to, uh, to melt this wall down. This, this wall has way too, too much HP. But it gives our, you know, our team uh, some time to sit here and stack up uh, shields and everything uh, for this the, the incinerate that the boss is there and does. After that, it's just like a floodgate once that wall goes down and all of our units finally make it to the boss and just start hammering on it. We're going to get all our debuffs and buffs out that we can and then get our star of the show, Eve, to show up. And then after that, it's just getting Seal and Rebecca out for the last little bit of death breaks that we need. That Swan doesn't, surprisingly, you know, with everything that she gives us, doesn't provide. I mean, why stop at 90? Why not just go ahead and go to 100? Anyways. Then it's just getting the rest of our little buffers out, lining up our ultis, which this setup that does, does a pretty good job of doing. You know, we, we get the AG ulti right before the uh, Eve and Swan as well to get those damage amps. And then it's just a matter of time waiting for the boss to get melted down. And like before, PV got his Eve. Thanks everyone for watching. I hope the teams in this video helped you clear in hip. I was I was honestly worried that B-side was going to be mean again, but uh, I guess that's for other content. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. If you're feeling extra special, you can join the Mage Institute by clicking the join button. You can catch me on Discord, link is in the description, and if you want to help support this channel, there's a link in the description for that too. As always, I will see you all next time.